Today's world has become like a field of thorns. It has literally become like a field of thorns. It is very dangerous to live in, in the sense that uh, it has become more immoral. People have become so reckless to an extent that they don't mind uh, their actions, whether in, in public or in private. They're just living so recklessly. And so to survive in a world such as this one, you really need the grace of God. You really need to take deliberate decisions on how you're going to live your life. You really need to set your priorities right because you are likely to be falling into sin every single moment. I take a, a leaf uh, from uh, the response of Joseph. You know, when he was approached by Potiphar's wife, he simply ran away from the scene. He ran away from the scene because it was so dangerous for him uh, to stay in the place because of the fact that the woman uh, who was uh, intending to drive him into sin was so determined to see to it that he fell into sin. And Joseph thought it wise to simply run away from the situation. Now, in today's world, it seems there's nowhere to run to because everywhere you run to, uh, there are stumbling blocks. There's a lot of sin. There's a lot of immorality. There's a lot of just careless living and everything. So you really have to have the grace of God. You In this generation, uh, you have to be very sensitive in the environment where you live in and how you do things. All right. For you to live a life that reflects the nature of God, uh, to live a life that reflects Jesus, you really need to take your life seriously in the things of God. You really have to spend time in the presence of God. And that takes a lot of discipline because of so many distractions that are present in this world. You really need to be a very disciplined person at the end of the day for you to escape uh, such kind of a field of thorns that we're living in in, in the present world. Because sin is so rampant and people have just become something else. Uh, they seem to have no conscience. People don't care. I want to encourage you as a child of God that you must be more alert now in these last days because you can be lured into sin without knowing. So you must be on your toes and always be praying for the grace of God to help you navigate or live effectively and efficiently in this world that has become more or less like a field of thorns. There are thorns everywhere. You cannot afford to walk barefooted in this world where there are thorns everywhere. So the grace of God will act like the shoes that you will need to walk with in this world that has become increasingly, increasingly sinful day by day. Watch and pray that you may not fall into temptation.